Hello everyone, I'm Martin Henry, singer-songwriter, sound engineer and IT specialist and today we're going to do a little short video on how to convert a wave file, a wave audio file into an mp3 file. You might ask, why do we want to do that? Well, mainly because a wave file is fairly large, so we want to reduce the size of the file, so to make it easier to email and if you're putting it on a storage device or an mp3 playback device to make the file smaller to take up less storage space so if you like this kind of content don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there and the bell icon so let's get started we'll jump on over onto the computer here we go okay so the first thing we need to do is open up audacity we just click on the icon here for Audacity, which is this icon with the headphones on it. So we open up Audacity. And while that's opening up, do remember, if you haven't already downloaded Audacity, I have a, a video tutorial on how to go to the, to the official Audacity website and download Audacity. And it's a free program, totally free. You can download it for your PC, for your Mac. And it also works on Linux. On the end of this video, I'll leave uh, the video to that video on the end of this video. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File. And then we're going to Open. And then we're going to browse here, which I already have it done here, uh, a better world. That way we're going to use for this, which is one of my own original songs. So we're going to open this up for this example here. And if we hover over there, we can see that this file at the moment is 30.8 megabytes. So if you wait till the end, uh, when I have this done, we will examine the two files and we'll just see what has happened. So we open this up. So that's my file there. You can see you've got, uh, it's like, it looks like two files, but it's one file. It's a stereo file. So you've got a left and a right in a wave form. So so we'll just play a little bit of it here and we'll just see. So this file has been mastered and everything. So uh, we're going to um, make this file now into an MP3 file, which will reduce the size of the finished file. And to do that, you have to go to File. And instead of saving it or anything, what we do is we have to export because we need to convert it. And as you can see, we've got a few options here. We've got the MP3, Wave, Org. And what we're going to use here, we're going to use the MP3. So we're going to select MP3. And then it asks me where do I want to save it. So I'm going to save it back in uh, where I have the other file. So we can do uh, an AB comparison at the end of this tutorial and I'm going to call it a better world and you can see here the extension on this uh, is a dot mp3 which is what we want uh, save as type mp3 so in here you would save you would select whatever file format you want so you've got all these file formats wave uh, org flax mp2 and so on m4a and so on so we're going to select the mp3 so we've got mp3 selected there and it gives it an extension of .mp3 and the quality then we can select here so if we click on the down arrow you can see that it goes from 8 kilobits per second up to 320 kilobits per second and you've got all these kilobits per second in the middle here and you will get varying qualities depending on what you select and of course the higher kilobits per second rate you select the better the quality of the file and the better you will preserve the original file so i'm going to use the 320 kilobits per second which is the highest format here and you just select that and it goes in there then 320 kilobits per second you've got a bitrate mode here which i leave constant and down here you've got a channel mode and I always use a giant stereo as this is a stereo file. And then you click on the save button when your volume settings and you're happy. Click on the save button and then you get up this 
meter tag box here which you can fill in all the details so we'll say the artist name is me so we'll put my name in there as it's my song and uh, then we put the track name which is a uh, better word nice and quickly here and uh, whatever other if you if you if it was a track of an album or whatever you will fill it all in there and when you've all that filled and you're happy you go and click OK and then you see here it's converting now the file to a 320 kilobits per second file that's it it's done so then we will just open up here and we'll have a look so if we go back into our music and we go back into where our files are now you will see that we've got a wave file which was the original file that we used and you can see that this file if you hover over there it's coming up at 30.8 megabytes and it's just over three minutes long song so you might have longer songs which will, which would mean your files would even be bigger than that and then you can see the file we converted this is the mp3 version of the same file and you can see now that we've reduced the size of that file down to seven megabytes which is a nice small size for the file which makes it easy to email or put on your phone or put on your ipod or whatever you want to use and it takes up way less storage space so i hope this has been helpful uh, remember I'll, I'll leave a link to how to download audacity from the original uh, website and how to install it and I also have a video there on how to do some other editing. So I leave them two videos at the end of this video. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much.